On my 18th birthday, my sister bought me a microphone. This microphone. And for just shy of about 13 years, it sat in my closet. So this is my first time using this microphone. It's also the first time using this mic stand, which has also been in my closet for about 13 years. Uh, these cameras are nine years old. Anyways, this video is about Link's Awakening. Probably already heard this. Uh, Nintendo announced their remastering Link's Awakening. Probably like most of you, uh, if you're 30, <laughs> you played it as a kid. I'm pretty sure I had the DX version, which was like the Game Boy Color remaster, because, uh, why did I think that? Hold on, let me Google this. Oh, a few things were added. One, it's in color. So they had a whole new dungeon that's all based off colored puzzles. They also added a little mouse who owns the camera, who takes pictures of you throughout the adventure that you can print on your Game Boy printer. I didn't own a Game Boy printer at the time, so I bought one. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to play through it again. At the same time, give y'all a little teaser for what's to come for all you youngins who've never played Link's Awakening and you're like, Link's Awakening? What's that? That's my, that's my impression. Well, let's begin. Oh yeah, second camera. Hello. Uh. How is this game made? Well, back in the day, when old Hiroshi Yamauchi, back when he was running shit, ah! Nintendo was extremely secretive about all development, all the time, never telling anybody how they do anything, they're just like, boom, here's the game, boom, maybe you put a thing in Nintendo Power, boom, here's a map, boom, that's Yamauchi's doing. And then he passed the mantle off to the old lord and savior, Saturo Iwata. Iwata was like, let's give the people what they want, which is more information. Let me ask you some questions. Oh, this is a good idea for a show. What should I call it? Iwata asks. That just announced a brand new The Legend of Zelda game. It's called The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. What made you decide on that subtitle? Well, at first we thought that it has to be about a sword. Lucky for us, when they were making old spirit tracks for Nintendo DS, <laughs> Iwata was running late for the meeting. And guess what? All those old Legend of Zelda developers started talking about the good old days. What do I mean by the good old days? How about Link's Awakening? The game I said we were going to talk about like four minutes ago. So let's get started. Here's some stuff from what they said. Actually, I wrote it all down. So this was actually all kind of, not a fluke, but it, it grew organically. Kazuwaki Morita. He's just like a cool dude. He loves fishing and other things. He was just like, yo, after work, I'm gonna take this Game Boy developer kit that's just sitting around. I'm gonna fuck around with some <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm gonna experiment with it. I'm gonna see what the Game Boy is capable of. Four kicks, cause he's a nerd. And so he started staying after work, just making little prototypes and stuff. And then a few of the other uh, developers were like, hey, that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll stay after work and I'll see what the Game Boy can do. It turned into kind of a little after school club. So eventually they got to a point where they're like, man, this is looking really good. And we're making like a kind of a cool game for the Game Boy. Why don't we make this an actual game? And Everyone collectively was like, yeah, oh, that's a good idea. Hey, that's pretty good. I like the way you think. So because the development of this game kind of grew from a free spirited after school club type vibe that kind of translated into the game, they went bonkers. There's the Yoshi doll. There's a Mario looking motherfucker. Ah! There's a chain chomp, a friendly chain chomp, piranha plants, Goombas. There's even a uh, Kirby. Kirby's in the game, as an enemy. So, this is Nintendo. Taka Takashi Tezuka, the game's director, went so far as to say that they were making a parody 
of a Zelda game. Another one of the developers who's in this meeting named a A.G. Aonuma out of nowhere busts out his strategy guide for Link's Awakening and it's full of developers notes and he said one of the notes he found was that Tezuka wanted to make it the Twin Peaks of the Legend of Zelda franchise. He wanted the game to be full of dreamy mystery and kind of eeriness and all these wacky characters and what does that sound like? Sounds like I'm describing every single Zelda game since Link's Awakening. So that leads us into the next category that I split up the script slash outline into. First, 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 first of all, a story first a link to the past had a story but it wasn't like you were talking to people throughout the whole game there's that old dude sasha Haravrama. he'd appear in a cave and he's like hello but apart from that it was just like go to these places and get these things and kill the guy and save the lady whereas this game link's awakening just like twin peaks full of all these kooky characters that you're interacting with all the time. Firths. Hey, remember that guy? Kazuaki Morita? Remember when I said he loves fishing? He's just like a cool dude, he loves fishing. Well, guess what? That was foreshadowing, because I knew I was gonna talk about this. He loved fishing so much, he's like, let's make a fishing mini game. And he did. Supposedly, that's why there's fishing in Ocarina of Time. And I mean, you grab fish with your hands in Breath of the Wild, so basically the same thing. Firths. Growing up in San Diego, we had these disc jockeys named Jeff and Jer. And I remember they did this thing where they started with like a paper clip and they kept trading, 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 trading until they got like a house or some sh**. Ah! I guess that's like an old folk tale or something called Straw Millionaire, where a guy takes a piece of straw and he trades it up and up and up and up and up till he's got a friggin' brick house. Three little pigs style. You nerds might know that as a fetch quest. The Link's Awakening is the first time you get fetch quest. So yeah. <laughs> So then the game came out, and guess what? Everybody loved it. And guess what? They made ridiculous commercials. Here's the commercial from Japan. What is this Muppet show tonight? Oh, was that Kermit? And then uh, you have the old US release. Down with Zelda from the very start. I got the uh, yeah. to play the part Rap! Uh, here's just a little snippet from the PAL European release. Hi, Rick Mail here. I don't know if you're like me, immensely rich, talented, handsome. Isn't it a bore? Well, I found the answer. Zelda Link's Awakening from Nintendo. <laughs> Friggin' British people. And here's uh, the French-Canadian version. Un nouveau jeu Zelda vient d'arriver, mais seulement pour Game Boy. Link's Awakening. Je sais pas si je vais m'en sortir vivant, mais en tout cas, c'est dur pour les pouces. Seulement pour Game Boy. I don't really have to have anything to say about this one except that I don't like it. I don't like it. I actually, I just don't like French people. So as I said before, I've bypass the part where there's like an outline of where I was like, this is what I'm gonna say here. So in terms of gameplay, uh, if you love Link to Past, I think you're really gonna like Link's Awakening. And if you like kind of the kooky tangle wackiness that is, you know, the characters of the Zelda universe, then I think you're gonna like this game a lot. If you're a furry, you're gonna like this game. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. one thing. This has above Link to Pass, and I'm pretty sure above Ocarina of Time is actively using multiple items at once, like in tandem with each other. There are portions of the world and dungeons where there's like a three tile long gap. You get the feather first and you're like, I can clear that. I just gotta jump, pixel perfect. And you're just like, <laughs> oh, 
over and over again and then finally it's like well ah! I can't get over that and then a few dungeons later you get Pegasus boots and you're running and jumping ah! and Usain Bolt does that guy jump I know he bolts but does he jump and it's awesome so this brings us to the remaster coming out 2019 mm, let me guess December 31st 2019 am I right uh, when I started playing through it I only watched the trailer once and then I started playing through the game and I was like Goombas and piranha plants they're definitely gonna like they're gonna change it to canonical things right like they can't do that like a Yoshi doll or are, are you serious but in the trailer look at that it's Cham Chomp look at that Goombas! Look at that! Maybe there's a piranha plant! I only rewatched the trailer once! One thing that I pray to God that they do is they expand the soundtrack. Dear Jesus. There are two items. One is an acorn of protection or something that halves your damage until you get hit a certain amount of times. And another is a sword power that powers up your damage until you get hit a certain amount of times. So, you know, what happens is, you'll kill an enemy and you'll accidentally pick this thing up, and the first time you play it, you're like, hey, I like this tune. This is a pretty good jam. I feel like moving my feet. And then after a while, you know, you learn how to not get hit, and you'll pick up one of those items, and you'll be like, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I still like this song, this is a good song. It's a little short. Okay, still haven't gotten hit. Okay, and I'm at the place now where I actively avoid those items because I don't need a damage boost. I don't need more defense. It's like, do you want to be more powerful at the expense of your mental well being? Uh, the answer for me is no. This song drives me up a fucking wall now. So maybe the remaster, maybe they have one song play for when you pick up the triangle and another song play for when you pick up the acorn. So it's not like every five goddamn minutes, you're hearing the same eight second loop over and 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 over. Oh man, that was pretty kooky, wasn't it? So, uh, what'd you guys think? Was that a video that you liked? You want to see more of this stuff? Back in November, December, I thought, hey, I should start making videos about retro games. And then I, like, maxed out two credit cards, like, building uh, up my retro game collection. And then I haven't made any videos. So, I should probably start doing that. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably gonna make more of these to try to pay off those credit cards. Alright, see you later.